Hello everyone. I know it's been a long time since I last made a video. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, something came up. As you can see, it's a whole new me. Um, I hope you like it. Never mind that. I'm going to make uh, my top 13 comic go uh, books today. And I'm going to tribute the uh, Linkara. I'm going to link uh, him down below for, uh, you know, uh, a top of uh, fourth wall uh, comic. I'm going to, yeah, you can see him as well. He's pretty awesome. Uh, but my top 13 from 13 and up, just as you like it. So, um, yeah. Here it is, number 13 is uh, Spider-Man or Garfield comics and I actually have a Garfield right here. This is a Garfield comic. Um, Spider-Man is maybe more, you know, I like the dark Spider-Man comics. I don't remember exactly when it becomes, uh, you know, darker and more you know, serious part of Spider-Man, but uh, yeah, and Garfield is uh, a fun comic, so uh, they don't have anything in common, but I still think they're both worth mentioning on uh, 13th place. On number 12th place, I have uh, Heavy Mental or Yankee uh, comics. Uh, I'm going to link uh, pictures of those below, because I don't have uh, my Yankee Times uh, my Yankee series right here, but I have some of those. Uh, I have a lot of heavy metal, uh, you know, magazines. I know it's not the same as comics, but it's still drawn, so... And I don't want to make a top 13, you know, for magazines, because I don't read that often magazines. Uh, well, well, I have on number 11, I have Daredevil comics and I have Sandfirst uh, comics. And Daredevil, uh, you know Daredevil, but um, Sandfirst, it's very, very good drawn, it's a very good story. Um, and as I said again, I'm going to link a picture of it down below. Um, go look at the artist. Uh, it's very good. Also the artist for Daredevil uh, comics. Um, top 10 I have X-Men or the Van Halle times. Uh, Van Halle comics. Uh, Van Halle, uh, Valhalla comics is more... Uh, I don't... I'm not sure but is it a Danish thing? Uh, just I don't think the movie did it that well and I'm not sure I like those uh, comics. I like, you know, where uh, uh, Thor is redhead and he uh, he's more brutal. Uh, there's a lot of more, you know, mythical stuff like the, yeah, Van ha Valhalla, you know, things like Sif and, you know, yeah, I wish I could show you uh, that I had one. My mom actually has those. Um, so I'm going to link a picture that's easier. And X-Men, I'm not going to explain what uh, X-Men comics are. Um, yeah. And number 9, I have a Watchmen or Lone Wolf comic. And uh, the Lone Wolf comic is actually right here. I know it looks like a book, this one, um, but it's, it is actually a comic and it's based on, you know, um, warrior theme, it's very good, there's a lot of, you know, um, yeah, good stuff in this, it's very good drawn, uh, I'm just trying to show you a picture from it. And it also resemble a game um, called, um, so maybe that was worth looking into. Okay, just two seconds, two seconds. Uh, yeah. Okay, like this. This is 
exceptionally good, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, Watchmen comic, I don't have one myself. I wish that I had. Uh, one of my friends has one and it's very good. So yeah, please look it up. It's better than the movie, I think, even though the movie does it okay. Uh, number 8, I have a Punisher comic and I have Sin Cindy uh, comic. And I think they're a bit in common, sorry to say, but uh, I know that Sin City is, you know, black, white, red and almost like the movie. It does it very, very good. Uh, and Punisher is more like, yeah going for revenge and, and, and stuff. I guess that he does that too in Sin City, but just it's different. I like uh, Punisher more. Um, also like the movies, both of them. Um, I can't explain why, I just do. Um, on number seven I have uh, Body Longway and Bro Blueberry comics. And I like to read these when I'm at home at my mom's place. As I said, she has a very lot of comics. It's actually her idea to make this uh, comic uh, top 13, so I hope you like it. Um, number 6 I have uh, Spawn and Witchblade. Um, I don't know if everybody knows that there's a comic uh, about Spawn. Uh, Maybe you've seen the movie, but uh, I don't think it holds up the comic very good. But I still think the movie is okay, you can go and watch it, but uh, yeah. And Witchblade is just very, very, very good. I, I really like Witchblade. Um, there's a lot of, you know, edgy stuff in it and uh, very pornographic stuff in it so maybe it's not for all um, yeah I'm just going to warn uh, people here a lot of the comics I'm saying on this list is a lot of gore or a lot of porn or a lot of you know action-packed stuff um, because I like it and also dark evil at, uh, you know atmosphere yeah. Uh, number five, I have uh, Wolverine and Dark Tower um, comics. I cannot reach my comic, so two seconds. This is uh, the Dark Tower with Stephen King. Uh, this is actually also a book, but <laughs> I I really like the comic. Um, and Wolverine uh, comic, I don't have those myself, but my brother has. And um, they're very, very good drawn. Exceptionally better than, you know, um, the film, I think. So, yeah, it's definitely worth uh, looking out for. I'm just going to show you one of the pictures in uh, my comic book, uh, The Dark Tower from Stephen King. Uh, this is getting his eye picked up by Eagle. It's very, very cool and very good drawn. There's a lot of uh, gore in this too, so maybe it's not for everybody, as I said. Number three, I have uh, The Killing Joke. And this I have too, myself. If you haven't read this before or seen this before, find it it's all the money worth it's ha it has a very nice ending and i think very good artwork as well it uh, actually has my favorite joker uh start uh, in this and yeah if i should choose there's a lot of you know back stories about the joker but I actually really like this also, uh, the thing uh, he does to Commissioner Gordon and his family. Uh, it's just so, you know, like the Joker to go this far 
uh, so even Batman uh, actually does something that Batman maybe not used to do. I'm not going to spoil, but uh, yeah, you can go see, look it up, uh, read it. It's all the time worth, and just don't skip to the end just to see the end. Read the whole comic. It's very good. Um, on number. Oh my god, I forgot one. No, I didn't. On number two, I have a Black Moon of Criti Criticals, I think it is. Oh well, I'm going to show you a picture of it down below. It's very good drawn. Uh, I like the main character very much. He's, uh, he's very fond of power and he has an awesome, you know, I don't, I don't know what to call her than a sex slave maybe. It's just it's so good imaginary drawn and I don't think there's any of the comics I haven't have been reading and being like all over it. As I said the, um, before, my mom has these two and they're very hard to get. They're very expensive. Um, I'm sorry I cannot promote pronounce the uh, name correctly. Um, on Danish it's Sorte uh, Mones Kronike so maybe people can you know help me uh, to pronounce this uh, correct. And um, number one I have all uh, manga and animated series ever made. <laughs> I know that manga and Anime is not the same as comic books, but I still think it's drawn, so it's a comic for me. I'm reading it as a comic. Sorry, you guys. Um, and I'm, I already did my top 13 anime list and uh, anime, you know, series and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go all deep in it, but there's uh, like a Berserk. Um, Last Exile, uh, what did I wrote here? Wolf's Rain, Wolf's, Wolf's Rain, Claymore and Death Note and you know like Naruto. I, I really hate the fact that the series has a lot of fillers. I like to read the manga more. So and if I'm missing a number you can put uh, Torgel, Kron and other comic books and I'm going to link down below what Tall Girl and Kran is or Owa uh, still a lot of you know gore sex and yeah this is just me I, I just love comic books and I love series and yeah um, I don't know what else to say just have a good day and I hope you like this. I'm going to make other top 13, maybe give me a good idea, subscribe or something. And um, also, yeah, I already told it was a tribute, so yeah, okay, bye.